Just thought I'd do a quick reaction video. First of all, sorry, I've not been online for about three weeks. I've been away doing two movies. I know you're really interested in that. An Aliens movie and a Shark movie, both sci-fi horror films. In the Alien film, I was playing the boyfriend role like I normally do in movies. And in the Shark movie, I was playing a bit of a dick, actually. No, new role for me, I've never played that type of role before in a movie. Um, sort of redeemed myself right at the end of the film. Um, anyway, won't talk about that because we're here to talk about the boxing, not me, obviously. So, tonight, what we got to see was, um, and by the way, Joshua's not started yet, so I'm just doing this between the Joshua, uh, well, just before the Joshua fight starts. Wilder, my prediction for the Wilder fight against Parker was Parker to win. Parker was a big underdog, but I chose Parker because he's the boxer. Parker is a very talented boxer. He won the world title being a boxer, not a fighter, not a slugger. Wilder, on the other hand, won the, web, the heavyweight title through fighting, through throwing a big punch. And I will always bet on a boxer against a puncher or a slugger. A boxer, it's called boxing. Um, Joseph Parker is a very talented boxer and massively underrated, went under the radar. I picked Parker to win. Was I surprised how easily he won? Yeah, I was. He won pretty much every round. Was I surprised he won the fight? Absolutely not. I knew very confident he was going to win the fight unless Wilder landed on him. And even then, Parker's shown he's got a great chin. I know he got took out by Joe Joyce, but that's after taking a relentless amount of, you know, punishment for a long time. And I think that Joe Parker thought he could do what Joe Joyce did to him, to Joe Joyce, if that makes sense. I think he could have thought he could outmuscle him. He didn't. But tonight, it was so one-sided, wasn't it? And I just want to say this about that fight. Uh, Wilder seemed to think he won the fight at the end. I think he even raised his hand and said in the interview that he thought he won. And he said his timing was off. I mean, everything was off with Wilder. I know he doesn't look good at the best of times as a boxer. But at least it, he looks more dangerous. Tonight, he did look a bit like a shell. I mean, I wouldn't say he was shot, a shot fighter. But what was he doing? What was he doing? Where was the urgency? Where was the urgency? Where was his corner? Not freaking out with three rounds to go that he was going to lose and lose a massive payday. Don't get me wrong. I know, he's, I know he is wealthy. But I think the post-fight interview said everything about Deontay Wilder. I don't think he wants to fight anymore. I'm happy that he's in a really good place because he was talking about how happy he was, etc. He doesn't need to fight anymore. Maybe it's time for him to give up. It's up to him. He doesn't look hungry, does he? He doesn't look hungry for fighting anymore. So yeah, the bottom line was one-sided fight, good prep by Joseph Parker, but I don't want to give too much prep, uh, praise to Parker because I, I thought he was going to win that whoever trainer he had tonight. I mean, Andy Lee is a good trainer. I'm not taking anything away from him. I just thought Parker was going to beat him. I thought it was a terrible matchup for Wilder. Um, and the prior fight, um, a big heavyweight fight that I was interested in, that I only caught the end of, unfortunately, was Daniel Dubois against Big Baby Miller. And I thought, I got this one wrong and I'm happy I got it wrong, but I, I, I thought this was so hard to predict, this fight, because you just didn't know how good Miller was. You saw him in, against Lucas Brown and you've seen him in other fights where he's just been a tank, hasn't he, just moving forward. Limited, limited skill, just a complete bully in there. Doesn't move his head that much, gets hit, but seems to have a great chin. He's a big lump, isn't he? Against a guy, Daniel, who is very talented, but we weren't sure if he was going to quit, let's be honest. I, that's why I thought he might lose. And I'm really happy that he didn't, because he's a nice guy, isn't he? But I thought Miller was going to make him quit. I thought Miller would have walked him down and Daniel would have given up. And I'm so happy that that didn't happen. I didn't, like I said, I didn't watch all the fight, but I saw the end and it was a great finish. Daniel's a good puncher. I, I would just want him to believe in himself and I think he might have done it tonight, which is great. So massive props to him. We're about to go, oh, I just thought I'd mention about Hergovic as well. I'm not seeing that fight, but he won in the first round, didn't he? So it'll be interesting who fights Hergovic next. Will it be Joshua? Probably now, won't it? Or... Well, actually, Joshua's not fought yet, but I'm predicting that Joshua's going to knock out Wallin because Wallin um, 
for Gassiev, didn't he? He's a good fighter, but he got hit too much by Gassiev. He's a much smaller guy than Joshua. I think Joshua's going to knock him out. I think Joshua's got to beat his worst to get beat tonight. I really do. Joshua's still a good fighter. He's got a, a lot left, and I think he's going to knock him out. Wallen's not a bad fighter, but yeah, I'm going to go with Joshua knockout. So I'm going to give a quick reaction to that once it happens in a minute. Big props to Joseph Parker and DDD. And let's go into the big next fight. Do you know who should give, get given a chance as well? Big Bang, Zhang. He should be given a chance. Get him one of the Saudi cards. Because he deserves it, doesn't he? So I think we should throw his name in the hat as well. Right, the fight's about to start. You can see I've just paused it behind me. I have to do a prediction on this because it's the biggest boxing card ever. I am a big boxing fan. This is what's going to happen in the fight. Otto Wallen is going to be nervous and Joshua's going to take advantage of it and knock him out. That is what's going to happen. And we're going to get to see how quickly it happens. And I think it'll happen within five rounds. That's my prediction. So let's see what happens. Let's go! Right. Just watched the fight, the Joshua fight. Um, when is exactly how I predicted, to be honest. Um, Wallen, fundamentally, is an okay fighter, but you knew after one round. I know Joshua looked mean, didn't he, from within 10. Joshua had nothing to worry about in that fight, nothing. He knew he was going to win it, unless he did something ridiculous. And Wallen isn't a bad fighter, but I would have said that most people in the top 10 could have beat him tonight. Probably everyone in the top 10, to be honest. Don't want to take anything away from him. He, he obviously is skilled enough. He went 12 rounds with Tyson Fury, didn't he? But, um, yeah, Joshua looked really good. Now, Joshua's going to get loads of praise for that, isn't he? But, and he, and he should get a bit of praise. So I loved how, um, how mean he looked. That's the Joshua we've not seen in years. And that's what they'll rave about now. Oh, you know, all this about Joshua looks back to his best and all that. I wouldn't jump to on that bandwagon, but he definitely looked good. And he looked sharp, didn't he? And he's throwing some really good punches. And if that fight went another round or two, Wallen was going to get knocked out anyway. There was no way Wallen was going to win that fight. Pretty one-sided. Um, well, that's it. That's the end of the card, isn't it? The biggest, you know, the biggest boxing card of all time. Probably, isn't it? In terms of the magnitude of some of the fights. Um, good night for the Brits, I think. I don't know. I haven't watched all the fights, honestly. I've watched some of the big fights. Uh, I know uh, Bivol beat, um, was it Lyndon Arthur? And that was a brave performance by Lyndon Arthur. And it, he, yeah, Bivol's quality, in it. But yeah, it was, a, it was a good card. I'm happy I watched it. Most of the fights went as expected. The one that caught me out, like I said, was Daniel Dubois and... That was a very hard fight to predict, and I'm happy that I was wrong with that one. But good fight, good win for Joshua. What's next for Joshua? Who's he going to fight? Is he going to fight? Is he just going to knock out Wilder anyway, just for a bit of fun and a bit of money? Or is that boat passed now? And will he be fighting Hergovic for the title? That is the question. That is the question. And that'll be a good fight, won't it? But you've got to strongly favour Joshua against most people, I think, in the heavyweight division at the moment, genuinely. I know he had his two losses against Usyk, but the second fight was very close, wasn't it? Um, we'll have to see what happens, but I did, I like the look of Joshua tonight, and I think he's still a very, very dangerous threat, and definitely in the top three heavyweights in the world. And that's that. Let me know what you thought. Did you enjoy it? What have I missed? What, what did I miss on the card? I believe there was a big heavyweight fight as well, weren't they? Where some... Giant of a guy got beat, he was unbeaten by the guy that beat Chisora years ago. I'm not seeing that fight yet. But yeah, let us know what I missed and yeah, let us know what fights you'd like to see next.